So, quick update here for everybody who has a 2011 iMac, and specifically in this case, the 27 inch 2011 iMac. Uh, it looks like the um, Mac Rumors form has been updated, and the K. 4100M now has a V BIOS for it that will enable the brightness and boot menu. Um, very similar to the prior video that I did on my 21 and a half inch where I used the K610M, ripped out the old video card, the uh, Radeon 6770M, and replaced it with that K610M. Now, in this case though, the K4100M is a more powerful GPU. Right, this one has a 100 watt TDP. Um, it is actually more akin to around a 770M, uh, which means that it has a lot more power and performance if you do need that within your 27 inch iMac. I wouldn't recommend it for the 21 inch iMac because the smaller power supply. Stay underneath about a 60 to 50 watt TDP GPU for those machines. But, but this is cool. This means that the K4100 can now be put into the 27 inch IMAX, which gives it a lot more power, a lot more updated. And here's the kicker. At the moment, it's only a $90 uh, upgrade on eBay. So traditionally, what happens is it starts out inexpensive because there's not a lot of demand right now, right? So that means that it's going to be around $90. I would expect within the next two weeks that that price goes up probably closer to $160, $170. So if this is something that you've been looking to do, you didn't want to go with the K1100 or 2100M uh, in your 27 inch iMac because you wanted a little bit more power there, this is a really good option right now, maybe maybe the best option. So just wanted to provide that update because it is something to, to be thinking about. Um, the, uh, the form post itself as I'm reading through it and, and I'll put that up here on the screen. First up, huge shout out here to Nikki or Nike22. Uh, this is the second or third VBIOS I've seen where he took Nick uh, DVB's ROM and then modified it to work for other cards. Uh, it'd be awesome if he posted how exactly he did that because uh, because I would totally dive in and start doing that as well for some of the more rare cards or, or the cards actually that still are lower price. But long story short, he's got a couple different notes in here of what he hasn't tested and has tested, right? So he did test on High Sierra and traditionally what I've found if it works on High Sierra, it works from there all the way up to Catalina with the DOS Dude patcher, so just a heads up there. It does mention that it's a little bit more difficult to flash. Now, he also did say that he used a technique which is the uh, basically Linux to actually flash the ROM onto this card. So I, I don't imagine this is a big issue other than if you are planning to use this sort of specialized USB programmer, which I've never used and it looked like a bit of a headache to me. Um, long story short, if you're planning to use that, hey, read the caution, read this post. It's on page 288 or something, right? But once again, it's linked from the beginning of this uh, thread, which is the Mac Rumors 2011 uh, GPU upgrade or 2011 iMac GPU upgrade thread, which is really easy to find from Google. And here it is right here attached. Um, I personally haven't tested this, but he's basically the same guy that I used the K610M uh, VBIOS from on my prior uh, videos and it worked just fine. So I'm fairly confident here that this will work as well. So um, yeah, big shout out here to, to Nikki or Nike22. Okay, so that's the update. The K4100M for 27 inch iMac, 2011 version. Uh, it's a great choice and right now it's the right price as well. Okay, so short update. Subscribe, like, all that other stuff if you are interested in getting updates like this in the future. And I actually have a few more projects coming on the way, especially with my old MacBook Air here and a few others. Till the next time.